if you ever had the misfortune of ordering one of these cabinets from Bestar, that's the model number there, then, it, yeah, when it's assembled, it's a file cabinet like that, then these are the moments of horror that you will be looking or uh, that you will be facing. So you can see my assembly is partially complete. Uh, on the floor, there's components of the last or the second drawer. I just had enough at this point, so I'm going to shoot this video. You can see I've got pages of red markings in this one where things went wrong. So let's get started. On the first page, hardware items are identified more or less accurately. None of these say that they are real life sizes. Uh, these pictures are, but those aren't. So if you need a tape measure, well, you you know you can just match it to the picture. It doesn't say so. Oh yes, this is a lateral file. Just in case you don't know what you're assembling, the name of this thing is a lateral file. So I'm not quite sure what lateral file means. What this is is a hanging file cabinet and uh, you can see how it kind of works. You can put your hanging files in here, straddling the space here between the uh, bar and the edge of the drawer here. All right, for hanging files, letter or legal size. So, oh yes, <clears throat> since the uh, people who printed this don't speak English, that got me thinking, why the heck is the place of manufacture or who are these people and I can only infer that this is the best of Quebecois French engineering well I hope not but this is what best our people give you alright on page one line one second one you have these small pieces that you will be <clears throat> that you will be uh, putting these these items in they don't have a name so I'm not gonna give it a name in the catalog but they're missing an arrow these pieces need to be placed in that piece as well as in that piece when you're trying to assemble it you're gonna be missing those ones if you don't do it the screws for mounting they don't tell you what size you need a VR207 means if you follow it down here that it's a 13 millimeter screw so I guess you need a tape measure to find which one is a 13 millimeter screw because screw because this list of two tools here doesn't mention a tape measure or a ruler or whatever carry on oh the fit and finish of some of these items is really miserable let me show you how that that's not the same piece as this, but just but just look at the alignment here. You know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. That this little clip went into two pre-drilled holes, and that's how it lines up. I'm not trying to skew the view. You know, this is what you're looking at. If the edge of this one is parallel with this, that would be ideal. Yes, as is, it's incompetently made okay so that's how everything is on this cabinet all right next one you know if it wasn't if it was mine i would just read i would have returned it an hour and a half ago all right here it tells you that the side rails need to be taken out of the uh, drawer slides you know from well, let me just get you a good picture there the side rails are there and then uh, the side rails get mounted on the edge of the drawer here and uh, they're greasy the drawer slide manufacturer lubricated it that's very nice so the tops here sorry the top there and the bottom there they are greasy so get ready to get dirty with this one get greasy of course doesn't say nothing in the manual by bother the left and right drawer slides are interchangeable there's only one kind of drawer slide 
and you can mount it in any position it doesn't say you can interchange them whatever on the side of the drawer there are no pre-drilled holes there is this groove this one and all it says on the manual that you have to align it align the end the closed end because that one is the open end so align it where here 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 and also align it how good or how bad sideways if you look at the fit and fit here and not just standard manufacturing tolerance that you're looking at that the bend on the metal is not exactly 90 degrees because it swings back a little bit so I mounted these drawer slides after the drawer box was assembled with a safe place in place so I can run these slides into it and this would align the end of the <coughs> uh, drawer, sli drawer slide rail okay as opposed to relying on eyeballing and guessing and oh where is it gonna go so that's that next one so you put the box together oh yes this back all right on some manufacturers the back is pre-drilled for the nail holes not here like on that one that bookcase unit it was pre-drilled very neatly uh, this piece is also unidentified and unmarked. I nearly threw it out with the garbage. That's where the whole thing should go, actually, this whole cabinet. So, there are no nail holes in them. And, uh, yeah, they want you to face nail along the bottom edge, too. But along the bottom edge... Here, look at the nails. These nails would be going into the particle board face. The hardest surface is the face. The <coughs> Sorry. The easiest part is the edge. So it will edge me in, in this direction easily. Alright, you get the idea. But it doesn't face nail into this board easily. I'm going to need to pre drill it. So to pre drill it, all you need to do is pull out your caliper. There, make your caliper and measure the nail diameter, whatever you get the idea. Here are my measurements. The nail tank is 1 16th of an inch or 1.6 millimeters in diameter. So, if you want to pre drill it, a 364 drill bit or a 1 millimeter drill bit will work, something like that. Don't pre drill it as big as the nail shank because the nail holds by wedging itself into the pre drilled hole. But as is, uh, it's, uh, they, they don't go in, or not without splitting the board. And if you nail too hard on this one, it, it just bounces in and out. That's it. So, so don't waste your time on that one. Next page. That one's also a big stick. Another clip. Like this. It's mounted. The picture for the hand door handle. This handle is a wraparound design that comes out at the front. It's very nice. Uh, the uh, No, Bestar didn't make that metal piece. They bought it from the supplier. And as is, it doesn't quite match the picture. Substandard picture. Oh yeah, there is a caster wheel and, and some kind of support that goes on the underside of the of the drawer like so in that position there you kind of get the image all right and for four holes you only have well for four screws you only have two holes in part CL81B the other two screws don't go in because it would be it, yeah, they just, they just don't go in without pre-drilling, don't even try, okay? It just splits the board, the board is so narrow and so thin, it's just gonna split it and flake it apart, okay? Uh, on Along the edge of the drawer, the next issue is the profile of these of these plastics 
are not clearly shown. This is how they should go together, all right? So the raised lip facing the inside of the drawer space. That's how these clips go on. Okay, and that's how the that's how the file can straddle it. All right. Don't try any other combinations. It won't work. And uh, so. I really don't want to take your time any longer with this piece of garbage. That concludes my uh, review. Um, if you ordered uh, this piece of furniture, uh, just, just don't open it, just return it to the store, don't bother. It's a misery.